Today I'm going to show you the essential plugins that you need as a 3D artist in DaVinci Resolve and Fusion. So in the link in the description down below, there is a link for the Reactor plugin. So you need to go to that link and go ahead and navigate to the installer, hit the download button and let it download, put it in your download folder. Go ahead and open up DaVinci Resolve and navigate to the Fusion tab, which is the little wand icon right here. Let's go to our download folder downloads, take the plugin installer and go ahead and drop it into the empty space of your Fusion window. Let's go ahead and install and launch and it's going to install the plugin that you will need to be a 3D artist in DaVinci Resolve and Unreal. Granted, you could be a 3D artist without these things, but it's good to have them if you want to do more advanced things like crypto mats and EXR loading stuff. Six and a half hours later. When all that's done installing, you will see a window that looks like this. We want two plugins to handle more advanced EXR things. We're gonna scroll down to the C category and find Crypto Mat. By default, it's not enabled. Go ahead and enable that. Scroll down even further and find HOS Split EXR. That is what you want. So when those two are checked, you can go ahead and close that. There are tons of other plugins that you could find if you want to, like heat distortion and whatnot. Some of them might need the studio license of DaVinci, but we're not gonna talk about those today. In the empty node space, we will hit shift space bar and we will type in load. And this is going to allow us to load up any image sequence on our hard drive. I have this one right here. Go ahead and hit open. Now we need to hit shift space bar in the empty space again and type in media and we need a media out. Let's go ahead and add this media out. And now these are plugged in. Nothing is showing in our viewports though. We need to first in the media out node, hit the two key on our keyboard. And because we have a two viewport enabled, we see a view of our image on the right hand side. Now, if we go ahead and hit this button right here under the viewer, we can get a two view or a single view. Now with this in mind, let's go ahead and use those plugins that we just installed. The reason why we use the loader node earlier is because in the loader node under the format tab and channels, we have all this extra data from our 3D render. I did render this from Unreal Engine, so we can use any of this stuff to create more advanced things if we wanted to. But for your render, you might have more or less information. So check your render settings for your 3D DCC of choice. For Unreal, this is typically what I get. With the full crypto mat workflow, what we can do is with this loader node selected, let's go to workspace, scripts, and HOS split EXR. It's going to pull up this window. Most of the time, you can just hit run and close. And we're going to see in our mini map, or the mini map has disappeared because now we can see that we have three new nodes in our node editor. On average, for a lot of the Unreal renders I do, I don't need these bottom two, so I'm just gonna hit the delete key and we only need this top one. Now with this, we're gonna go ahead and hit shift space bar and type in CRY and find our crypto mat node. Double click on that and hit add and now we have our crypto mat. Now with the two viewer mode enabled with the button here, we're gonna go ahead and with the crypto mat enabled, hit the one key. And with the one key or this little white button checked, we can see our left viewer is showing us a bunch of weird colors. Why is that? Well, that's our crypto mats for our render. And what we can do with this is with the crypto mat node selected, we get this gizmo. And then with this gizmo hovering over a specific spot of our image, we can hit the add button. So now it's creating a selection around that object in my Unreal Engine render. I can go ahead and move this node over and select another part, hit add and add this and add this stuff down here. And we'll add this one more spot and we're gonna ignore the mushrooms right there. So the reason why you would do something like this is now we could isolate this from our scene if we wanted to. So theoretically with the crypto mat enabled and selected, we can go to our view mode and instead of colors, we can go to matte. And now we can see, hey, look, there's a perfectly clean matte of our image or we could even see beauty and not beauty edges. 
Well, we're just gonna stick with mat right there because this is how you would do it. You would take the crypto mat, take this and pipe it into the blue of your portal node. And now on our right node of the loader, we're only getting that one spot. Now that's not very helpful. What if I just wanted to select just that portal? So what we can do is we can get rid of the connection there. Let's go ahead and take our loader node, control C, control V and paste it. Let's go ahead and merge this with our footage. So we're basically putting it on top of another with that merge node. And then we take this crypto mat and plug it right into the blue socket there. Now from here, what we can do is with the portal loader node, the second one in our hierarchy, we can go ahead and add a brightness and contrast node in between, and we can go ahead and add some lift, and now we're brightening up this one spot. Now I will add that this loader node, this ent entire render still looks kind of gross. Why is that? Well, we did render this with aces. So the last thing I'll show you in Fusion is if we hit shift spacebar in the empty space and we type aces or any sort of color transform, I do know that I did render this shot in aces. I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck those and take this aces transform and the merge node, bring it all together, get them all to connect. Now from here in the input transform, I will scroll all the way down to the ACES CG option and then the output, I will set this to Rec 709. And now that looks a little bit more natural based on what I actually rendered out of Unreal. And with this other crypto mat node and the HOS splitter and all the plugins and stuff that we got from the reactor stuff, we can go ahead and brighten and darken up this spot if we wanted to and if we needed to. All that being said, in my opinion, these are the more necessary plugins that you do need if you want to do some more advanced visual effects in Fusion with your Unreal Engine renders or any other 3D DCC of your choice. Okay, tutorial over. Thank you very much for watching. If you are confused about this at all, I do have to let you know that I do have an Unreal Engine or rather, I'm... Oh, I fudged that up. That was such a good take. If you are confused by any of this, I do have to let you know that I do have a DaVinci Resolve course, which you can find in the link in the description down below. This is generally my workflow for a lot of my client work that I make in the board game and hobby space. My course covers a lot of the basics of what buttons are actually worth pressing in DaVinci Resolve and some of the more advanced things that I do not post on my YouTube channel. I did want to include the plugin stuff on my YouTube channel because, hey, I feel like this is more necessary necessary information for people to know with just public knowledge in case you just need to know, hey, how do I get crypto mats out of an Unreal Render and DaVinci Resolve and Fusion? So here's that video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you want to learn more about some of the more advanced stuff so you can actually understand what the heck I did with all these nodes, all the core stuff is in the link down below. So go check that out. And if not, no worries, I still appreciate you and I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope the time was worth it because you're not getting it back, but I will leave you with the final tip. And as always, eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight and you'll make some more games. Goodbye, my friends. Bye, the camera's too far from me, so fade to black, bye. You're still here. Thanks for watching, appreciate it. Okay, bye.